In this video, what we are going to learn is adding a gap to material quantity calculation. In my drawing, I have an alignment profile and I have a corridor created and I have created some sample lines and I have uh, created the section views relevant to those sample lines. In my corridor, I have a fill section up to here and I have a bridge here then I have a fill section again so if you zoom to this bridge section this area this station is 96 and this station is 111 so I have the bridge, bridge between 96 and 111 so in practical in practice we know at a bridge section we don't have a fill we only have a structure there so if I go to this 96 and the cross section views between 96 and 111 you have 100 and 110 there so you can see there is a fill section in the material quantity table this uh, area the highlighted area is the material area so this is a fill area so you can see there is a fill area underneath the bridge also you can see in this material report this volume is 115.35 and this is 175.5 so in actual world this fill is not there because you have a bridge here so to get the accurate quantity you have to remove this fill area from the uh, material calculation so to do that we what we are going to do is we are going to add a gap so that civil 3d will avoid getting any materials in this area so to do that what you do is you select a sample line and go to compute materials and click ok to accept the uh, relevant sample line group to get the material list so i have only one sample line group so i click ok and you can see here this is my uh, material list only i have created uh, earthworks for this material list so now i am going to do is add a gap here i am going to i am coming here and select gap so then it is asking me what is your gap so what i am going to do is i am adding a gap between the edges of the bridge so if i go here add new gap i told you the bridge is between 96 and 111 so i set the gap as 96 to 111 so now what civil 3d does is it will avoid all the material calculation in between 96 and 111 it will add a gap to the material calculation so if i click ok now you will see in the section view now this material was disappeared because it will not count anymore into the material calculation so by this method you can get a more accurate material calculation uh, for especially for cut and fill situation so earthwork situation but you have to remember when you are adding a gap it will affect the other materials such as uh, asphalt or base or sub base so in that sense you have to manually remove those gaps from these uh, areas if you add the gap after adding the materials so if i select here and put compute materials so if you have some sub base or asphalt area let us say if i add a new material here and i will add some corridor shape here so it will automatically given this gap so what you have to do is for asphalt you you don't have a gap because it should be there on the road so you have to manually remove this gap for material calculation so that is how to uh, do that in uh, adding a gap for material calculation